As a model and actress, I learned from the best. I've always loved fashion. Fumi Fashion and Beauty. This episode is going to be a fabulous eye makeup tutorial. For Sister to Sister, a couple of weeks ago, I used a red eyelid shadow and you guys ate it up. You loved it so very much. I got so many compliments. How could I turn you guys down? Of course, your wish is my command and I have decided to redo that entire makeup theme for you today. Yeah, so what do I have on? I've done my contour. Mm, I have something on my mouth. What is this? It's hair mm, from the brushes. Does it happen to you guys? It's all over my face. Okay, so I have uh, done my face, the foundation. I've done my contour. Can you see the little dark cleft here? This is called the Ula cleft. Ula has a cleft in his chin. I love it. So I shadow mine in and I just adore it. I'll put up a picture where I did the cleft chin and everybody was like, for me, this is quite fab. So that's what I'm working with. The jewelry is what I wore for my engagement party. I have not worn it since. And since we're doing red, I thought, why not? Another thing, red is my favorite color. I love it to death. As you guys have seen, I can wear red from head to toe. Love, love, love red. There's something about red, a blue dark red, that just complements my complexion like no other. When I wear red eyeshadow, there's not a single time somebody does not come to me and say, I never thought one could wear red eyeshadow. And I like it. And that's what it does for me. It's very Grace Jones. I, I feel like it. we have the same kind of jawline and we can get away with those kind of crazy colors. I search high and low to look for red eyeshadow. So the color is called Basic red by Mac. That was where I got my red and I love it to death It's one of my favorite colors and it just complements my complexion like no other love it It's different. It's front and center in your face and it absolutely stands out basic red Mwah. 
So without any further ado, let us start. Like I said, I've done the contour, I've done my brows. We're going to uh, do the cheeks, do the highlight, put my lippy. The lipstick also was by uh, Mac. Yes, this is this is this is a Mac. It's a Mac story. This by Mac and it's the, from the Toledo collection. And this uh, lipstick is called Sin. Well, hello. Alrighty, let us start, and I will walk our way through it. Here's my face. And what am I going to do? I am going to start with my uh, brush. Let me see. I'm going to take a MAC brush. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The MAC 224 brush. Oh, yes. And I'm going to dip it in my chocolate chip fashion fair blush. Dust off the excess. And here we go. And this is just to give the socket depth. I have another mirror in front of me, so this is just for a close-up because I'm so blind. So this is it, yes? Voila. So just to give it some color, give it some depth. It's a warm color. I have told you so many times about my Fashion Fair chocolate chip. I love it to death. Love it, love it, love it. Okie dokie. Let's move forward. Let me take yet another brush. This is yet another MAC 224 brush that I thinned out. I had mentioned this in one of my other videos. I just pulled out some of the hair out of it just to thin it out. And I'm going to use black, yes, carbon by MAC to now give the crease some depth. And then you go above your crease not in the crease necessarily but above your crease because you're going to save that part for the red shadow yes and you go above and you just gently trace it's almost like a cut crease so to speak but not quite and you just go right in there and you just smudge it all out let it be nice and smoky you don't need it to be hard edge don't worry about what you're doing just keep on going don't worry about it being messy or whatever so you have this kind of look do you see yeah and you do the same on the other side I go back with my fuller tutu brush and just puff it out so that it kind of just blends in so to speak then I'm going to take my Tom Ford palette I love this and this is cognac sable number two and I'm going to use this color up here I love this color to death it's a very lovely underbrow highlighter and it works I adore it so I take my 252 brush also by Mac I just dab like so on both sides and I just go underneath the brow there you go and it just picks up the eye you know it just gives it that lovely golden color and that's all I need actually. See? Then we're going to take the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And now I'm going to put my primer on top of the shadow I put on and exactly where I want to have the red eyeshadow. And so you take it over. It's just for the color to really be able to adhere to the eyelid then you take a flat brush now because this red is loose powder it gets everywhere and it is serious I'm going to take my uh, very brown beauty blender I take some benign powder and I'm going to you know what forms wait before you do this you better take a tissue because you're wearing black and put it over under here so that all of this you can take off once you put the shadow because this thing is serious that's the only disadvantage I'll tell you about okay so you have to make sure that you are you know well covered and this is it yeah okay now here's the MAC powder open it's a lot and then dip some into the cover that is the only way you'll save the product and you won't have it falling all over the place because that's the last thing you want, I promise you. 
it stains like crazy. I'm going to use my Echo Tools flat brush. Any flat brush is what is good for this because what you want to do is that you want to pick up the product and pat, pat onto the eyelid, okay? So let me go back in and give it some spritz. Okay, and here we go, wish me luck. Just tilt your head to the side and pat in. And there you have it. So look at me, like a weeping willow. So you've got all of this residue. You've got the eyes. Look at how prominent, look at how gorgeous it is. But you have to take this off. So you take a tip and you lift it off. Then you take the residue off, like this. Once, and you lift off. And it comes right off. And it comes right off. This is the easiest way and cleanest way you'll get this kind of makeup off. Press in and out. I'm loving this. So, with the rest, that you just take your brush, where, where is it, yeah? And you just brush off the rest. Woohoo! And there you have it. And then you can go back in now and then touch up. And there you have it. So, we have finished the most challenging part of this makeup tutorial, and that is the red eye, as you can see, the red eyelid. Now we're going to go now and do the, just leave it to set. That's what I do. I just leave it to set, leave it to sit. As they say with the Benai powder, you just leave it to cook. I'm letting my eyes cook. We're gonna leave this for a half minute, and then we'll go over to blusher. So what do we have? We have Lancome. There you go. And this is Rose Indian. Really complements this red eyeshadow. So here I go with my blusher brush. Bada bing, bada boost. I put some in. Dust off and you just touch up there. See? and take it all the way up to your temples. Might I add that this could be very much uh, a night look. It's not for the light-hearted, it's very bold. And there you have it. yes now we are going to do a little bit of our highlighting so we're going to use our sleek and this is the highlighting palette and it's got those precious gorgeous metals platinum royal gold Parisian gold and antique bronze and I am going to use antique bronze touch up right there same thing on the other side Go in with my Estee Lauder eye pencil, double wear. Love this color. It is burgundy suede. Gorgeous. And this is what we're going to put underneath the eye, on the lower eyelid. Now, we are going to use my uh, Devolume liquid eyeliner by Chanel. And that's it. And then put in some gold underneath with the same palette, my Tom Ford palette, Cognac, just underneath to sharpen that black liner that we have done. It's more of a cut eye. Voila, can you see it coming together? 
very Catwoman. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I do love this. You can wear a nude lip with this look because it's strong and you can wear a dark lip. The last time I used a dark lip, but with this look, I'm feeling nude. So let me just finish up and uh, put on a nude lipstick, yes? Okay, so we're now going now to use a pencil, black pencil, the blackest black I have ever experienced for my complexion, Perversion Black Urban Decay Beyond. Love, 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 nice and sharpened. Let us go for it. And that just elevates the eye. I go over my eyelashes too because they can be colored because of whatever eyeshadow I use. And this black just blackens it up right away. And there you have it, my loves. This is my red eyelid shadow plus the lashes. Which lashes did I use? Used Eyler. Love, 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 love Eyler. I was at the BeautyCon, BeautyCon London last week, uh, Saturday. Had a fantastic time. Eyler lashes, thank you for showing me so much love. And these lashes that I'm wearing today are Eyler Dramatic number 205. Love them for the extra ba 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 effect. said this is not for the light-hearted it's a very very strong color you can wear it with a lighter color or like a nude lip and I am going to you do the two just for you to see because it's so powerful so I'm going to use cherish by Mac and you can just do a quick swish nothing to it and that's it and that's your look isn't it gorgeous Okay, then we're going to wear the, the MAC Toledo Limited Edition in sin. Why not? So we're going to take this one off, a little double loops. And here we go. And there you have it. Dark on dark, I think it's such a decadent color. And I think this scene is such a lovely, very, very burgundish, plumish, almost black color. And it complements the way. This is what I had done for the Sister to Sister Jealousy episode. That's right, now I remember. Because I thought, you know what, red also can be like a very jealous color as well as green. And it just complemented it. So there you have it, my loves. Thank you so much for watching and of course,
you have the quote of the week. I enjoyed this. It's very, very short. It's sweet, but it is precise. And so he says, when in doubt, wear red, no blast. Till next week. Well, let's say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye.